Welcome to the BYU Math Lab. We're here today to find out how students are using mathematics to solve problems with waves. Hey, I'm Steve. Hey, I'm Bruce. Nice to meet you, Bruce. What do we got here? We're working with waves. So you have an obstacle, something that waves can't penetrate through, so waves hit in and bounce off. And we're trying to simulate that using mathematical formulas. How would this apply to real life? How would, this, how would we see this in the real world? Well, we work with waves, such as surface waves, water waves, um, sound waves, and we have obstacles that they will be bouncing off of. We need to simulate that for a variety of reasons. You, you might have like a, a boat or a small island or some man-made craft in the middle of a lake or the ocean or something. You got waves hitting it. What's going to happen when they bounce off of it? Will that have any bad effects? Will there be waves that are you know, too tumultuous? or something, you need to take these things into consideration. And so doing a simulation like this is a way to figure that out. Well, that sounds like it would be helpful. So you see a grid here. You can see there's an obstacle in the middle. So waves will come in from the left, hit the obstacle, and then bounce off of it. And then press enter. The program is going through mathematical formulas to find the waves as they bounce off of this obstacle. Great, so how exactly are you using math to do this? We develop some formulas and then we input those into the computer and then the computer takes these formulas and runs calculations on them and then the, puts the numbers that it calculates onto the screen for us. Great, so what do we have here? Well, right here we have the results of the waves bouncing off of this obstacle. So. You can see the waves coming in from the left. They hit the obstacle. So where it's red, that's where the waves most interact with each other. So that's where you have the greatest amplitude. And then as it trails off into the blue regions, you don't have very high amplitude there. The waves are more kind of going around the obstacle. While the computers ran some calculations to generate the simulation, Bruce and other math students did the real math to find the formulas needed for the simulations to work. Bruce took me to the board to explain just how they did it. Okay, so we start out with basically a piece of graph paper, a uniform set of points, equally spaced. We take that and we make a circle with kind of the shape inside, and then we keep the same structure throughout the circle. These are the equations that we developed as a team and that are used to discover what the waves will be um, at all points on this domain. That sounds really interesting. Mathematics and the skills developed learning math are in constant demand in a wide variety of fields. After graduation, math majors can be found in many jobs, from actuaries and animators to scientists and engineers. Hey, I'm Steve. Sebastian. Sebastian, nice to meet you. I see you're working on uh, some research here. How does the research that you're working on here at BYU uh, apply to the real world? Well, it has applications in the military, say in radar and, and sonar technologies. You want to be able to detect submarines and airplanes using waves. So we study how the waves propagate, hit the airplane, and then come back. Great. Is there any other applications other than the military? In uh, medical imaging and also in oil exploration. So it's the same, same thing. They send waves underground, they hit the oil and then come back and you want to be able to find the size of the reservoir or other information about it. You see where it is? Yeah. Great. That sounds useful. How did you get into math? Uh, why, why do you like it so much? I like it so much because uh, you can solve very complicated problems with it. Uh, problems that you cannot solve any other way. Hands-On is a production of the College of Physical and Mathematical Sciences at Brigham Young University. To get your hands on more information, visit cpms.byu.edu. Mm -hmm.